What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys and I haven't seen you guys since I got back from Texas and that's just because some things have been, some unfortunate events have been going on with me and the car, Pegasus and I'm just gonna list those things out for you today. As you can see, she is pretty dirty and a couple things have been going wrong. Oh yeah, I did end up getting another tire. I ordered one as soon as like I was making the last video and I saw it was flat. I ordered one, I said, I'm gonna need it in like within the next few days or so because I'm gonna be headed back home and I needed to get it, you know, put on and things. Other than that, the car has been like real dirty and I've also been having a few problems with the horn and the headlight. I don't know, I think it's maybe a relay or something, but I need to check that out like ASAP. The horns only work sometimes and the headlight, what is this? Oh my gosh, I don't know if y'all can see, but I have like these long scratches going along the front of my bumper and these were not here. Wow. Well, Peggy, you're definitely gonna need a paint job soon. But back to what I was saying, the horns, they only come on sometimes, they work sometimes. Well, let me see, they probably don't even work right now. Let's see. Nope, as you can see, this is all it does. And the headlights, they take turns going out. I don't know why, it's just the low beams. Sometimes it's the driver's side, sometimes it's the passenger side. Last night, actually, both of them weren't coming on, and then, like, after driving for, like, 10 seconds or so, they both came on. I don't know what that is. That may be a relay also, but I'm also gonna check and see if any wiring is messed up or any rust or any grounding points or something just is acting up. I don't know what it is. And also whenever I crank my car up, you're gonna hear this high pitch like whining sound. I think that's coming from my fuel rail. Uh, I don't think that the O-rings are good anymore just because the way that I had to put my supercharger on, the fuel rail act like it didn't wanna go back on correctly, but I had to put a little force into it and I think I may have broken the O-rings that sit on the top of the injectors, but I'm gonna check that out and whenever I go to move my car, I'm just gonna move it over a little bit to get from beside the sidewalk right here but you guys will hear it whenever I do Like I said, I'm just gonna take the fuel rail off just on this side because I think it's coming from this side over here. And yeah, that should fix it whenever I look at the O-rings and possibly change them out. But hopefully it does. This is actually, I think y'all's first time seeing the new blower on my car, even though it's real dirty under here. But I think this is the first time y'all saw it. I also changed out my air filter because that was pretty bad it was actually very black even though i sprayed a little bit of the k n filter spray and that was red and my filter previously was blue so that made it like kind of black whenever the dirt got on it but you know it still was kind of old and i need to change that out but let me go ahead and start trying to unbutton all of this stuff and get the fuel rail off of this side Alright, so I have everything taken off, well, this side of the fuel rail, and this is probably, let me get it to focus, this may be what it was that was causing my car to make the noise. I don't know if you can see it, but this O-ring is kind of messed up. And whenever I lifted up the fuel rail, this just fell right down into the little, this little crevice, little cavity right here. And it was looking like that. So I'm thinking hopefully 
this is what messed it up. And like I said, my buddy Mikey, he gave me some injectors some time ago just because whenever I was putting on the ported blower, um, I was having some problems with the O-rings then. So now I'm about to take this yellow one. I don't think the color makes any difference, hopefully. Um, but I think they're about the same size. If not, then obviously I'm gonna run into some more problems. But this is all I have for now, so I'm gonna end up making this work. A few inches later. All right, everything is now buttoned back up. And now let's try to start it. Hopefully this doesn't mess up. making the sound. Whoop de doo PJ, you didn't do anything. Get a Terminator Cobra, they said. It'd be fun, they said. One of the best Mustangs, one of the best American muscle cars, one of the best all around cars that were ever made for a decent price, they said. Just like Siberian Huskies, huh Bruce? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, Terminator Cobra, Siberian Huskies, they're all fun and dandy. But, there's a but, and there's always a but. They do take a lot of time and a lot of money to take care of. Look at him. And you better not come jump on me. And now I'm getting to the point in my life where I kind of want something a little better if I'm going to be spending that much money. Bruce, sit. Sit. Show the vlog you can sit. Thank you. Shake. I, 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 I. No. Sit. Sit. He just thirsty. Shake. Good boy. Turn around. Look at him. <laughs> Come here. Sit. Stay. Yeah, he just thirsty. He want me to just give him some water. So, that's what I'm about to do. Stay. I, 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 stay. Wait, stay. And he's going to stay there until I finish. There. Oh, he's such a good boy. I don't know how many of you like dogs or are into dogs, but look at Bruce. He does this like two or three times a year and i haven't really been able to brush him lately just because of some things going on like like i said with my car and uh yeah but i gotta brush him this is usually whenever he starts to change colors like you can even see a little red on his tail i don't know if y'all can see but bruce has never had red on him and you all right bro slow down yeah, but Bruce has never had red on him. And I kind of want to see what color he turns to next. I think I'm about to go and wash the car because it hasn't been washed in weeks and weeks. But after that, I just might just not even worry about the car anymore today. And just uh, work on some of the photography stuff that I have to do. And I don't know. Like, I really, I know I keep bringing it up. I really do not want to sell the car. I don't think I am going to sell the car. But... I do want another, a newer car, and I wish that I could just pay for it with YouTube, but you know, everybody's YouTube channel doesn't support them like other people's, but I mean, that's not a huge thing, and I do like the car, and I, I know that y'all like the car, y'all subscribe to me for the car, and I don't know, I'm just ranting right now, like I said, I don't even think I'm gonna get rid of it, but oh yeah. If you want me to make a whole specific video on how I would fix this, because I've been supposed to fix it, but I just never did, and I do plan on doing it soon, then just let me know in the comment section below, because I kind of want to get that fixed. 
And in the meantime, I'm gonna be fixing this scratch also before I get it painted because I want to get the car painted sometime this year. But yeah, just let me know in the comment section below if you like that video. One more thing that I want to bring up to you guys. I know this video has been kind of jumpy, but one more thing I need to bring up to you guys is, is this the ABS module or whatever? If you do know, then let me know. But I believe mine is starting to go bad unless it's a bad wheel speed sensor. And that's just because my ABS light, it stays on and I don't have any traction control. And this is my daily. I drive it through all kinds of weather and I would like to have traction. Bruce, stop eating it. Stop. But yeah, like I was saying, I would like to have traction control just because this is my daily. Well, you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here because I don't even have any more car washing liquid. It's like nothing wants to go right with me now. So, Bruce, look at all got all kind of stuff on his face i'm about to play with bruce and then probably go walk him and finish up with my photography things that i have to do so this just about wraps up the video if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down in the section below like i said if you want to see this video of me fixing the paint I don't even know what it's called botching that somebody else did to my car subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and i'll just have to catch you in the next video but always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more and i thank y'all for watching